Hi friends, it's good to see all of you again. Today I have a story for us to read together. This story is called Bear and Bunny Grow Tomatoes. One winter, Bear decided to grow tomatoes. And so did Bunny. In spring, Bear began by digging a place for his tomato garden. Bunny didn't want to waste time preparing anything. He poured his packet of seeds on the hard, weedy ground. Bear took care to rake all of the clumps, stones, and weeds out of his soil. Bunny put up a sign and went for a folding chair. His sign says, tomatoes may be large. Watch your step. Bear worked hard, pulling out all the weeds and hauling away all the stones from his garden. Bunny made lemonade in his blender and found a favorite book. Then he got a big pillow and he went out to watch his garden grow. Bear made small seed holes and dropped a few seeds into each one. Bunny dropped some lemon seeds. Soon, little green sprouts were popping up in Bear's garden. Bunny couldn't be sure what was growing in his garden. Look how tall the weeds are in Bunny's garden. Bear put in tomato sticks to help his tomatoes grow tall and straight. Bunny put in a swimming pool and invited Bear to his pool party. Maybe some other time, said Bear. I'm busy right now. Bear's working hard on his garden. A gentle summer rain fell as Bear went out to weed his garden. Now the tomato plants were almost to the top of the sticks. In Bunny's garden, the weeds had grown almost to the top of his windows. At night, Bear slept lightly so he would be able to hear anyone who might wander uninvited into his garden. Who's there? He would growl. Bunny slept like a ball of yarn. By August... Bear's plants were bursting with large, juicy tomatoes. I know my tomatoes are here somewhere, muttered Bunny. Bear ran out of boxes and baskets to put his tomatoes in. Now what will I do with all of these tomatoes? Bear wondered. Bear decided to take two boxes and make his way to Bunny's yard. I know you've been growing tomatoes too, said Bear, but I would like to give you these. Maybe you can use a few extra. Thank you, said Bunny. I do have a tomato garden. I just can't find it. But when I do, the tomatoes are sure to be colossal. Bear had a very good harvest of tomatoes. And thanks to Bear, so did Bunny. The end. Look, they're eating together, friends. Friends, I hope you enjoyed that story, and I can't wait to see you all again soon. Bye.